morning. It's time to get the milk for my coffee. So um, Seth is coming over for a lesson um, today, 945. Originally we were gonna do it in the new office, but um, <clears throat> I was kind of out late last night. I was helping out a local band, getting more involved there, which I'll tell you about more soon on the vlog. And then, uh, let's see, I was out kind of late, so I, was, I got home around 10. But then I had to watch the replay of the, um, of the Syracuse game, Syracuse basketball. We finally got a great win against Miami, and the team finally looked like there might be a ray of hope uh, as far as, you know, being a contending tournament team. So, you know, is there any hope? Well, we'll find out. But, uh, boy, it was a great game to watch. So, anyway, I'm at home. I'm going to do my teaching. Um, from here up in the den and then we're gonna go forward from there throughout the day I'll be in the office in the afternoon to practice my pipes and um, <clears throat> teach a couple more afternoon lessons as I usually do on Thursdays so that is where we're at so far <clears throat> meanwhile don't worry I haven't forgotten about um, your Facebook questions that you sent um, which is as a matter of fact quite the opposite I'm like totally stoked about um, you know, about sort of adding this feature to the vlog. So I'm just on my phone right now, um, and I want to see if I can drill into any quick questions right now, and we might address some bigger ones later today when I get to the office. Scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. Um, wow, there's a bunch more comments. Guy says, I want to compete this year and would like to know some insights to choosing the best tunes for your grade. Okay, there's... A couple of different answers to this question so you know if there's a tune that you just love and you just have to play you have to play that tune it might be a little bit above your uh, ability level but sometimes you just have to go for it right so that's one strategy you know if there's a 2-4 march or what have you that you really love within reason right in uh, grade 4 senior Abercrombie Highlanders or Bonnie Ann or the Highland Wedding or something those tunes are going to be too much, just too much to handle for that grade. But, you know, um, look into some tunes that are, that are, you know, playable. And if you love it, you got to go for it. On the other hand, right, um, you could play the strategy game and just pick a tune that uh, gives you a great chance of doing well. So, so in grade four senior, it doesn't have to be complicated. Um, one of the things that I tell my students all the time, which is absolutely true in the entry level grades, is that all you have to do is get from start to finish with nothing catastrophic happening and you're gonna do really well, okay? And that's true, that's why it's the entry level grade. And, and you know, keep that in mind as you play. You don't need anything super fancy or what have you. So um, pick something that you enjoy, preferably on the simple end of the spectrum. And that's what, um, that's what you should go for. And there's a whole bunch of different tunes. And uh, Guy, you can, of course, track me down and message me if you want to know some ex specific tune recommendations. I don't want to recommend a tune to you right now on the vlog because, like, what if 10,000 people all play that tune? And then it'll be overplayed, and then, you, you know, you'll be mad at me. Um, <clears throat> okay, a lot of people asking about building stamina on the pipes. And um, Derek already in the comments is like, I'm pretty aware all I have to do is play more. Yes. So building stamina on the pipes is all about playing more. Let me give you a couple of things to think about. Number one, your bagpipe has to be set up and maintained to be 100% efficient. Uh, you're never gonna, quote, build stamina if your bagpipes are leaking air and no one can keep them going, right? So remember the four questions of maintenance. It's my bag airtight. Stocks airtight, reed seats airtight, are my drone reeds calibrated? Get all of that dialed in, and then it's gonna be about building stamina. Here's how I think about building stamina. You wanna be able to play for at least 50% longer than you have to be able to play, right? Um, and then we wanna build that into our practice session. So for example, let's go back to Guy who's gonna be playing in grade four senior. To play a 2-4 march, a four-parted 2-4 march at roughly 60 um, to 65 beats per minute. That's going to take you about a minute and a half. And let's round up to two minutes. You have to be able to play steady for two minutes. That means in grade four senior, 
well, and we're not even talking about PBRAC yet, are we? But let's pretend that two four marches, you know, the quintessential event. If you have to play, be able to play for two minutes, then in practice, you should be able to play for three minutes comfortably without stopping your pipes. Okay, and that has to be the first goal that you set for yourself. So rather than just like, as Derek says, yeah, we want to play a lot, but you could play a lot thoughtfully. So uh, play for two minutes, uh, or sorry, play for three minutes. And if that makes you tired, right, do that again. Do that again. Keep that three minute goal in your mind to be able to play comfortably. Right now, if you're going to play a full P Brock, which you have to do in grade four in the USPBA, where I'm from, uh, you know, that's going to be at least six minutes of playing without stopping. Right? And you want to be able to play 50% more. Call that nine minutes, round up to 10 minutes. So your practice sessions should contain several stints of playing for 10 consecutive minutes. Um, if you're not doing that, right, a lot of pipers play for 60 seconds and, and we come up with some sort of reason to stop, like, you know, uh, oh, I want to get the tuning better, or, um, oh, I made a mistake, or whatever. Make the tuning better, <clears throat> make lots of mistakes, but don't stop your pipes until you hit that 10 minute mark. Because not only do we have to build stamina, but we have to build stamina in a way that's gonna allow us to play. So that those are my tips on stamina. Um, make sure everything is set up perfectly well by asking yourself the four questions, and then be strategic. Um, if I, Here's a great example. Uh, my Inverary band pipe is much harder to play than my solo pipe. It takes a lot more energy. Um, that has to do with the fact that you know, grade one bands typically, not always, typically play harder reads than you would play in the solos. It's much harder to play. So can you sort of reverse engineer uh, what I just talked about for that? Well, I made sure that I could comfortably play that bagpipe um, for just about 10 minutes because the longest medley that the band plays is about um, six and a half minutes, let's say, maybe seven minutes. Right, so I made sure I can play 50% more than I have to on that instrument comfortably. Um, and at first, it wasn't happening, but at, you play every day and you make sure you play several stints for 10 straight minutes and you build up that stamina that you need on the bagpipes. Um, so there you go. Sam says, how long should I spend on each section of the Piper's Dojo Tutor? So we have a tutor system at the dojo, which I highly recommend if you're a beginner. Um, even if you've you know, done another tutor, go through ours. I, I feel like it's a really great pathway um, to you know, getting a greater perspective of, of exactly what we're trying to do on our musical instrument called the bagpipe. Um, how long should I spend on each chapter? So this could go for any tutor, right? Not just the Piper's Dojo one, but how long do you spend on each lesson? So the religion part, right? Like the bottom line is we don't want to move on until we've mastered each thing. Mastery, meaning you have it. Meaning once, once you figure out how to do it, you do it so much that you can't do it wrong kind of thing. Um, you know, or it's very unlikely that you're going to make any mistakes or, or that you can really you can really move around that scale with no crossing noises, right? So that's the that's the, the overarching religion behind it. In reality, mastery takes a really long time. So I would do, I would go through the tutor twice, or I would go through a chapter twice. I would go through it once to the point where you can get each lesson, right? Where you, where you understand it and, and you successfully done it once, but you haven't quite mastered each thing. And then before you move on to the next chapter, go back and then master each thing, right? That, that'll help keep you interested and it'll help, um, you know, it'll help speed things along because you'll know what's coming and, and you'll know which ones are going to be harder to master than others, right? But So yeah, I was interrupted there. She came home from work. She wasn't even at work yet. Um, yeah, so uh, moral of the story, two-layered approach, I think, helps in the real world. Uh, what camera digital recorder thing do you use to record your practices? So for the average person, this is actually a fancy camera now, which I don't recommend. For the average person, anything by Zoom. There's a company called Zoom, and they uh, create great portable recorders, which can indeed record video if you want. That's a little bit more money, but not a whole lot. Uh, and they also create great... 
um, audio recorders that allow you to produce great quality sound on like mp3 files that are easy to transfer back and forth so that is my recommendation to everybody all the time so there you go a few questions they're wrapped up. There's a couple more in-depth questions here that I'm going to get to this afternoon, but uh, this is cool. I will be asking for more questions again on Sunday so we can do another week full of vlogs that, you know, actually benefit people. couldn't wait for the eggs to cook so I kind of like ate my toast before the eggs were done so I'm just gonna have eggs now so I should be here in a couple minutes we'll carry on with the day I feel if I if, like if I lean maybe it'll make the shot look more balanced which way do I have to lean yeah man you like it to get in the groove of it it's definitely a little bit better but you everything you play that should be on the beat is coming in before your foot hits the ground you know what I mean This is like, it's kind of rogue. It's like, um, what was that movie where they uh, got Osama bin Laden? Uh, yeah, like this is like, the, this is for the Zero Dark Thirty aspect of the vlog. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I'm just practicing. I think there's one or two more questions. I'm not gonna get around to them today. I only have a couple more minutes to practice. Um, then I'll have some students coming in, uh, but we'll get around to them tomorrow. I'm just realizing I missed my um, awesome chiropractor appointment um, last week. Damn. Uh, I'm going to call see if I can get a different appointment, which would be cool. But anyway, I'm uh, just rambling at this point. I'm going to play a couple tunes and uh, then it'll be time for students to come in.
okay, an extremely, extremely rough form. If I make the final, I think that's what I'm gonna try to play. It's getting cold in here because I had to turn off the heater. And that's my only excuse, I know it's not very good. Whenever somebody talks about bad pipe maintenance, they're, the, you should translate that in your brain to leaks. no leaks, no. avoiding leaks. So what are all the different ways air could leak out of your bad pipe? There's a lot of different ways, right? So it would be good <coughs> to have a system that you followed to make sure you cover all the bases. Okay. And that's what the four questions are. Elton is wearing the GoPro and that's gonna allow the audience to feel like they're in the lesson. Yeah. I found a really nice recording of Massacre of Glencoe that you put on one of your vintage uh, classes of it. So I put that on, I've been listening to that. Good. <clears throat> Am I in it with the uh, GoPro? Oh, you're definitely in it. Oh, yeah. So there's, there's the GoPro. Nice. That's, that's what Dalton's wearing, but you know, you look kind of like Christopher Walken with that on. Who's that? Who's Christopher Walken?